Nutrition in Animals Part 1 Learning Objectives 1. To understand what is digestion 2. To understand digestive process in human beings 3. To understand the journey of food from chewing to the stomach Hello friends, how are all of you? On seeing me, I'm sure your mouth has started watering. I am the king of fruits, mango. I am indeed tasty, but I'm very nutritious too. My friends like apple, oranges, green vegetables, dal, chapati, milk and I help to keep all of you healthy. But do you know that how are we digested? From tasting to digesting, we travel through a lot of parts of the digestive system. Come, let us understand the process of digestion with the help of this video. Mother, mother, I'm very hungry. The day in the school was hectic. We played and studied a lot. Please give something to eat soon. Yes, mother. We really got tired today. Like vehicles need petrol to run fast, we will get energy from the food. Wait for some time children, I shall bring your food. Till then, eat this apple. Yes, today our science teacher was telling us that fruits, green vegetables, milk is very important for our nutrition. Is it? Please make Sonu also understand. He does not eat fruits, isn't it Sonu? Friends, it is very important to eat fruits to be healthy. All of you should eat at least 3 to 4 fruits every day. Do you know Sonu, our teacher was telling us that we need a balanced diet. It should contain all the nutrients in appropriate amount including water and roughage. Do you know, the food that we eat cannot be digested in that form. Hence, it is converted to simpler form. How? This process is known as digestion. Here children, eat your food. Wow, mother, this chutney is so delicious. Our tongue is so clever. It senses the different tastes easily, like sweet, sour, bitter. Yes, you are right. Like when we think about Golgappas, our mouth instantly starts watering. There are taste buds for different taste on our tongue, because of which we can sense the different tastes. There is a salivary gland which secretes saliva. It mixes with the food and helps to make it soft and helps us to gulp it easily. How is my taste friends? Sometimes sweet, sometimes sour. We gulp the food like this and then it travels to our stomach and gives us energy. Digestion is an easy process. No, Sonu, the process of digestion involves a long way. It begins with the buccal cavity till the anus. It is known as the alimentary canal. What all parts are there in the alimentary canal? Come, Sonu, let us draw a picture. I will tell you about the process of digestion through it. I have a test tomorrow about the same. It will help me revise too. Look here. The food we eat passes through this long tube which is known as the food pipe or the esophagus and reaches our stomach. The stomach and the various glands associated with the canal like the salivary gland, liver and pancreas help in secreting digestive juices. Come, now let us look at what happens to food in the various parts of the alimentary canal. 
the process of taking the food into the body is known as digestion. Didi, there are 36 teeth in our mouth which help us to bite food into smaller pieces. You are right Sonu. We have different types of teeth which have different functions. Yes, look Didi, these front teeth and the back teeth have different shapes. Yes Sonu. Look at this picture that I have made showing different types of teeth. Wow, this is a very important information. Didi, sometimes when we eat food, we get hiccups and we also cough at times. Shall I tell you another interesting thing, friends? Do you remember? That few years back, your teeth had started to fall because the first set of teeth are your milk teeth, which usually fall by the age of 8. The new set of teeth which come in place of them are permanent teeth. Let me tell you Sonu, when we eat food quickly or talk while eating, like you do, the food enters our windpipe, which is the reason we get hiccups and cough. Hmm, now I shall be careful not to talk while eating food. Didi, what happens in the stomach after that? The stomach is like a bag. It is the widest part of the elementary canal. It is joined with the esophagus at one side and opens into the small intestine on the other. What happens in the small intestine? Let us first understand what happens in the stomach. The inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid and digestive juices. The digestive juices break down protein and fat into simpler substances. The acid kills the bacteria which enter with the food. It also makes the medium in the stomach acidic which helps the digestive juices to act. The food is completely changed till it reaches the stomach. The food passes through a lot of parts ahead. Didi, please tell me, where does the food go after the stomach? Sonu, I will tell you about the journey of the food from the stomach to the other parts in the evening. Let us rest for some time now. So friends, the food we eat passes through the alimentary canal. We have to pass through a long journey from ingestion to digestion. We learned through this video about the journey of food from the mouth to the stomach.